looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we're going over the Legend Market. Now, as you guys do know, it's Legend Saturday, which means markets, market drops, trading goes down, certain players are, certain players go actually go up because everything's on Legends today. So I will be going through all that and kind of the state of what you should be looking for right now and whether you want to be buying or selling. But you guys know the deal. First, we want to shout out to our Poodle Squad member today. That's going to be Richard Quill. Now, that is a repeat, as was this morning. We actually had a lot of repeats this week uh, in terms of people resaying it versus new. So. If you want a chance, guys, all new will be said. So make sure if you haven't done it already, come join the Poodle Squad, turn on the noti bell, like the video, and comment down below Poodle Squad. About it for that, guys. Let's go into the market now. If you see any prices you like and I think it's a good idea to buy, maybe you should go down below and pick up some coins if you need them. Training as well, and the legends directly on there. Now, these two new legends today are must cops, in my opinion. They're amazing. You definitely want to be picking up these guys. So for the most part, you guys can't afford them. You guys know the deal. Use code Poodle for 15% off down below. But let's get into this. Starting off here. I think these brand new 50 players are buys. Now, I don't think they're buys for everyone in terms of you must have these cards. I'm saying if you happen to want these cards, they're buys. You guys have to understand that too. When I say like Brett Favre's a buy, it doesn't mean like Brett Favre's the best quarterback you must buy. No, it means if you want Brett Favre already and you're wondering what price point to buy it at, this is the price point because he's going for 247K for a 92 overall that can be powered up to 93. That's a steal. Steve Hutchinson's a buy as well. 50 players are cheap now the week 150 players actually went up a little bit but i'll go into that in a second but moving on moving on down here a uh, drc i think he's kind of expensive but he's worth it for how good he is so that's probably why he's keeping his value i think drc is a buy michael vick at 400k is a buy as well now these legends are super cheap right now kevin Mawai is actually kind of expensive i think he's a sell i think the ltd is a sell i think michael vick ltd is a buy and then moving on down mean joe green i think all these ltds here are sells Except for Ricky Jackson, you gotta wait on him because he just came out. Obviously, he'll keep coming down a little bit. Uh, Steve Smith to sell as well at that price. That's just a crazy price for him right now. Yes, now Steve Smith is amazing, but that is way, way, way too expensive uh, for a base legend. Don't he will come down? He'll probably come down to like the 300k range. Just wait on it. Now the LTDs, of course, are right here. Again, Ricky Jackson and Steve Smith are insane. If you guys want them and you need them bad, like I said, you can go get coins for them. But if you happen to have them already, you pull them. You don't plan on using them. Just sell them now. Before their price goes down anymore. They are a decent price right now. Now, Barry Sanders, probably a sell. Now, here's the thing. He's not going to be the best running back, like, by a long shot for much longer. We're already in the 93 overall territory. So, you know a great running back's coming. Maybe a most feared uh, Saquon Barkley or a most feared something's coming out. And that could take over. And if not, we have Thanksgiving and other stuff. But I know he's not going to be the best for long. We have Team of the Weeks. Plenty of stuff. Legends. He's going to get replaced pretty soon. He's 93, which means overalls going to start matching soon. But that's it for this uh, tier up here. Again, in my opinion, all these guys down here, all these new 50 players are buys if you happen to one of them. And then all the uh, older legends like Vic is a buy, Moe is a sell, and then the new ones are all sells just because, of course, they're going to keep coming down in value. Now, moving on to 1991s. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick before we get into base prices here is going to be the 50. So the 50 did take a, a, a recent dip in terms of the new ones are cheap and the old ones are actually still a decent price. So if you happen to have any of the old ones, I think you want to sell them. Like Jimmy Graham going for 240, 250, and stuff like that. that's a pretty good price considering that they go for the same price, if not more, than the new ones. So I'd recommend you take advantage of that and you go ahead and you sell off some old ones you have if you don't, like if you get it, if you don't want them. Same thing, same application there. It's like, I'm not saying you have to sell them, but if you were thinking about selling them, they're not going to get any cheaper from this point on because, again, they're going to be outdated as it is as new overalls come out. And of course, it doesn't help that new overalls have their own promos coming out, like more 50 players. What did help is that people are putting a lot of week one players uh, into the set, which is cutting them in half. And then that's lowering, of course, the supply of the lower 91s. So guys like Calico, I think Calico's a buy. He's actually super cheap. I think Maze is a buy. I think White's a buy. I think Shazier's a buy. But I think guys like Graham and the other ones that were cheaper that came up a little bit are sells. I think Reggie Bush is a sell at that price point right now. Um, the Mondi, up to you guys on him. I don't really have a preference. I think Brian Dawkins is a sell for sure. He's not going to maintain that price for much longer. Now, moving on to the regular ones here, which are interesting as well because these have been staying pretty steady. I think all Team of the Weeks, if you happen to want them, are buys. These are super, super, these are steals for Team of the Week cards. If you wanted them, they're, they're buys. I think the lower legends, again, they're, pro they're, they're tough. I don't think they're going to go below 100K like consistently, so they're going to stay around this price. I don't think they're a buy or a sell. It's kind of like if you want them, get them. If you don't, sell them. Like There's not much movement there. 
I think, um, of course, LT, LT and Michael Vick and these guys are all buys. Kevin Y, they all go below 200K. And so is Mean Joe Green if you just snipe them out. And then the Reduxes are up to you guys. Redux, I don't have a preference on as well because Redux cards do fluctuate. I mean, they're just like, they fluctuate. You never really know with them. Now, in terms of Odell Beckham Jr., people are probably wondering if he's a buy or sell. Now, at his current price point, he's looking at around 215. I think he's a sell. I don't think he maintains his price for much longer. We just got Steve Smith, who's literally Odell, but better. Uh, I think one speed slower, potentially, or not. Let's see, is it 91 speed? Not even know. It's, it's Steve Smith, just a better version of Odell. And I don't, I really didn't think Odell was all that great to begin with, and cards will pretty much pass him pretty soon. Now, a point of emphasis I want to make in terms of the market is make sure you're checking your Team of the Week cards, because here's the thing. Low Team of the Week cards have crazy value right now because they do go into the Team Standout set. So to give you guys an example of what I'm referring to, by the way, lower elites are super cheap if you need any. But you definitely want to focus on these. Me and Zerk were just talking about this, how you want to be selling these in your binder as well because the price is just super inflated. Now, the 87s are only going for 33k, which isn't anything crazy. But what I noticed for me was these down here. As you move on down to the, I clicked the wrong filter, 82 to 83. These are a crazy high price point right now. So if you look here, 40k for 83 overall, 82 overalls. And yeah, these over here because they do go into the set. So 40k for an 82 overall. This is a steal. I had like four of them in my binder. I, I just put them up, made a quick 160k off that real fast. I highly recommend you go check out your binder and see if you have any of these sitting in your binder. Make the coins now because tomorrow, or well, not tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday, you know, when Team of the Week is revealed that night and then the next morning the packs do come out. Once those packs come out and these start flying out again, the prices should come down quite a bit. Also, as a result, Team Standouts will come down. So expect Team Standout prices to drop as well as Team of the Week pieces to drop. Now, I recommend the best thing to do is sell them now. Sell everyone you have, all of these Team of the Week cards, the low ones, of course. I mean, the higher ones didn't really have much of a value. Those are standard, but the low ones, sell them while you still can make the quick coins on them and then of course once those come out again you can go pick them back up if you really feel like you wanted those cards for any specific reason but yeah make sure you're doing that and let's go check out team standouts of course and see what the buys and stuff are looking like there as well as remember those should come down when team of the week packs are out or again are out because right now what we're working with is just whatever's out there on the market once that comes out it should drop so these are already pretty cheap guys they're cheap and i honestly think more a team of the week pack should only lower them more now the, the ones that people don't care about like vaccaro ben archer mckinney and these guys they're, gonna, they're not going to change too much. What's really going to come down is the higher overall ones that are, are maintaining a higher price point right now, such as guys like Jerry Sneed, Calvin Ridley, Kyle Murray, and DK Metcalf. So once those come into packs, right now these are maintaining high because people keep buying them and people are too lazy to do the set and the sets are too expensive now, right? So whoever had these already had them up. Now the thing is, once the sets are, the sets will still be there. Tuesday the packs come out. Those players come down in value. All these players will drop in value. Now, the top ones at the beginning of the page are already cheap. They're already meeting the price that they, they're expected to be at. But Metcalf, because he's actually really good, is maintaining that price point. So, as long, um, so is Fred Warner, Alvin Kamara, and a few other guys. So I just recommend you guys go ahead and pick up, again, on Tuesday. See if you can snipe out some of those lower pieces. Like when the packs come out at 2 p.m. or whatever it is, Eastern time, make sure you're sniping out some of those lower pieces so you can go ahead and build some of these cards. And, of course, you know, go build the Metcalf. Go build... Um, Fred Warner, Kyler Murray, Alvin Kamara, you can, you can either, either make coins or they're going to come down in value. So if they if they, if they they come down in value, just snipe them and resell them later because that could be a common theme, you know, like as the week goes on, they can rise back up in price a little bit and resell them. But again, we'll have to see. That's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always. And again, join the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, turn on that notify bell and like the video. Very similar steps there. But that's about it. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Again, if you guys are new, like I said, you will be shouted out because we're running low. We're, we've been repeating a lot now. So if you're, if you're new, all takes is one comment, get it done. And if you need coins for any of these players that I've been, you know, I said were buys, heading over to my reserve down below. Take advantage of the discounted coins training and players and use code Poodle for 15% off at checkout. Also, if you guys need help with any of those steps I, as well, remember, like, I know it can be difficult for some people. DM me on Twitter and I'll help you go through that process. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.